Okay, everyone. Once again, this is Chris, Raven Reviews, and your stay-at-home dad. Uh, today, I will be doing another Dart Zone video. Um, like I said in the previous one, when I did the MK2, that Dart Zone is becoming one of my one of my favorites. Right? There's a, quite a few uh, third-party titles that uh, brands that I like a lot too, but these are definitely one of my favorites, you know, um, today I have the Dart Zone Max Striker, um, looks like a, a, a rifle, but fires like a shotgun, that's my take on it, um, I, this is my, also, I painted it, I really am fond of this particular color scheme, you know, if you guys like it, you know, please leave your comments below, if you don't, it's okay, if you think you've got different suggestions, that's okay with me too. I'm, you know, don't mind. But I really like the way it came out. And I have to paint here. Uh, but, um, uh, it has the, uh, you could extend the, uh, the stock, like so. You know, actually, you could pretty much take it all the way off. But, uh, or you can bring it all the way in. Whatever, you know, whatever, um, Whatever floats your boat, you know, basically. Um, it has a really good um, scope there. I mean, generic. I mean, you can't zoom in or anything, but you can always change the scope. You can always put a, you know, a realistic scope on here, you know, with the rails. Um, but it, <coughs> excuse me, but it's really good. Um, it has the, 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 the silencer or suppressor. You know, um, you know, very, um, it has a safety, um, uh, you can prime it very good, and let's see, it fires, oh, I turned it off, uh-huh, there we go, look at that, another one, like the MK2, if it wasn't for the wall behind the TV being there, this would go a lot farther. Um, it is um, very nice. It has um, half size darts, which um, are these. Um, I got these on, um, on sale at Target. Um, they're very good. I highly recommend these. Um, dart Zone, call me. Um, I would be happy to sponsor your stuff there. Um, the clip, you know, you can. These are the full size darts. That's what's nice. You can either you can use the full size or the half size. Um, here is the half size clip. So you know, basically, um, and, it, and it goes, bam. Half size darts. Um, you know, it's it's a very very nice um, blaster. Um, uh, it um, you know it, the the way you can switch between half size and full size darts. Um, you know, is, is really cool. I love that feature. Um, the yeah, rails are a little bit larger than like Nerf, so you can use those. Um, I can't remember the proper name, Picante, Picante, or something like that. Sorry for my butchering of the name. Um, but you can put the really good scopes on here. Um, and um, I think it would, I would, I would probably go make it go a long way since, uh, you know, this scope in here is just pretty much just crosshairs um, in there. It's uh, not really... Uh, it doesn't have a glass or anything. You can't zoom in or out. You know, I think that would be the one of the things that would make it look awesome. Of course, you got the opening here, case of jams, very easy to replace. Um, it primes very easily. Um, you know, there's a really long rail that almost goes the full length of the blaster. Um, I think you could probably, you can fit a decent sized scope here and then still have 
something on the front that you may want, um, like um, a light, you know, um, could be a, you know, something that's doable. Um, you don't really have a spot for a railing on the bottom because of the priming mechanism. It's, uh, you know, take that full space here. Um, you could probably take this out and get the one with the handle if you prefer that compared to the shotgun style. Everybody, you know, it's your, it's your toy. If you have one, do it what you want. Um, the one thing I would say with this though is that, um, I don't know if it's on purpose, if you keep pulling, it comes right off. Um, I personally would like it to where it would lock automatically if when it reaches the end so it can't come off, but very easy to put it back on, not a big deal. Um, the other thing I would suggest possibly um, is, um, well, you could, I would, there's no real way to attach like a piece to hold more bullets, you know, darts, um, just because of, you know, having to do, put it in here, you know, so um, you probably would have to, uh, if you have a strap for it, you know, to strap it back to your back and um, use another weapon so you can get to an area if you're playing Nerf Wars, where you can stop and change the clips out. Um, you might be able to, well, let's see, let's see, I can answer my own question maybe. Uh, take this out, let's see, can it, can it use others? Um, oh, yes it can, look at that. So you can, you can fit other, um, Clips in here. This is from my Nerf Raven with the um, the uh, light up um, clip with the light up darts. Um, so yeah, it seems like you could you know use it now. Would it go as far if you have regular darts in it? But if you get the um, the dart zone full length darts, you can put it into other clips apparently. You know and um, Snap it back on. Um, I do a lot of um, Nerf painting. Um, so if anybody is interested in um, uh, acquiring a certain blaster, you know, with a certain scheme, um, I could, if it's spring loaded, I could probably see about ordering uh, mods for it if you prefer that. Um, I'm still work learning on how to um, uh, solder motors and and batteries and all that stuff, so I'm not ready to do that. But uh, I can at least cosmetically alter it for you. See about acquiring some scopes or uh, laser sights or whatever. My Etsy store is www.etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash arcs collectibles. Uh, capital A and capital C. Um, and I can take requests. So if it's a blaster I don't have listed, I could either find it in my house or acquire it. Which we, you know, could work on the, the cost for that. Uh, anyway, back to this um, this pistol, blaster. Um, uh, I really love the design. Like I said, the, the way I painted it just seemed to scheme just seemed to flow perfectly with it. I mean, I, other than some touching up, which obviously I have to do because my son has grabbed it and he scuffed it a few times and, um, you know, I missed a couple of spots, but, um, that's what happens when you paint it when you have a head cold. So, um, I, I would say it, I got this, uh, from Target, uh, not too long ago. I think it was on sale. And like I mentioned in the previous video, I did actually get a few at the same time and had used the Karma um, or um, um, Quad Pay, which is now called Zip, to break up my payments. And you could uh, have a curbside pickup, store pickup, or you can just walk in and get it. You know, um, I find the curbside pickup is very good. They even give you an option to pick another dart to substitute in case 
they were not to have what you wanted in stock. Um, you know, um, I'm, I'm really hoping that I can get, you know, maybe Target or Dart Zone would send me some others, you know, the higher end ones, the Mark, the Mark III and, and the other ones that they have um, to review for you. Um, you know, uh, as a stay-at-home father, um, what I make on my Etsy store is what helps me fund what I do on my channel. So, um, sometimes I, I use a lot of stuff that I already have, you know, uh, but when I can acquire, acquire new stuff, um, I try to do so. Um, you know, um, you know, I'm not afraid to admit that, I, you know, I would love to get some sponsorships, you know, and have some, you know, like, normal, like Dart Zone or Target to, to work with me in collaboration to promote these awesome products. I mean, the Dart Zone is just fabulous. Um, you know, the, um, there are a lot of great stuff about the MK3, and, and uh, there's another one, I can't remember the name um, off the top of my head, that's, you know, really good. Like I said, right out of the box. I have another one that I think is downstairs in my basement um, that um, is very good and shoots very awesome as well. Um, you know, uh, like I said, I got this one right out of the box. No modding, no nothing, it just awesome right there um, I could only imagine what it would be like if I did put in a better spring and whatever fly not flywheels but um, the, the barrel um, you know like a brass one or something where it would shoot better I mean that would be scary um, I have not done any official like nerf war stuff but with a teenager and a five-year-old now and a wife that get likes it you know we'll probably set up our own little course and have fun with them um, because we also know which ones you know I will be using right here and then if I can get the MK3 um, they might as well not even try because I probably would uh, anyway uh, please leave your comments below um, you know once again this is the Dart Zone Max Striker I urge you guys to get it you know this would make an excellent Christmas gift for all your nerfers out there um and um if you like me to paint it shoot me a message we can work something out um you know i this one was hand painted but i i ha i do have a airbrush you know to use in, in some um um rust-oleum uh, paints so we can work something out uh, as long as i have that particular color in in, in stock currently um so anyway um Go, go get yourself a, a Dart, Mac, Dart Zone Max Striker. Um, and, of course, the, um, the Dart Zone Max bullets to go with it. You can't go wrong with these. These things shoot amazing and very far. So, anyway, um, please leave a comment below. Smash that like button for me, please. Uh, and the subscribe button. I would be internally grateful for that I would love to, this channel to take off and um, so I would appreciate any support that you guys can give um, if there's a particular dart zone or nerf that you'd like to see uh, or even third party I'll try to get my my hands on it and do a review for you I, I take all suggestions um, but anyway buddy be safe with this holiday season you know with the COVID and the variant going around <clears throat> you know, keep yourself safe and others safe. Anyway, take care and have a good, blessed day.